Don't worry, the first hill is not that bad. Welcome back to Glaze's Geezer Garage. This week, we're doing some more busy work. We're going to be riveting and putting some sealing on some other bonding strips. Uh, just getting this body ready to set on the new roaster shop chassis that the latest news is it's coming in next month. So it's coming in early. That's great news. I'm very excited about that. One of the other things you might notice is uh, in most of my videos, you saw an enclosure up here that I kind of hung from my lift. Uh, I did that when I was sandblasting so I didn't get sand all over my garage and dust. Uh, I decided to take that down. It wasn't big enough to do any painting in. So I'll probably redo something like that or buy one of those temporary inflatable uh, painting booths. Uh, I'm not gonna do the finished paint here, but some of the primer and some of the other stuff I'm gonna do, I probably will do here. So uh, yeah, so bear with me and uh, let's see if we can get a couple of these bonding strips riveted on. First thing we're gonna do this week is these hinge pillar bonding strips that I repaired. I had to do some grinding and get those very flat. The reason I did that is because this hinge pillar fiberglass fits right here and it fits over that. And the height of this, talk to mid-year Mitch, and the height of this right here is critical to the body lines that line up everywhere. If you notice, I don't have this glued in yet. I know Mitch glues his in. I'm a little concerned because you get you get a lot of play here where you can glue this in, and I know that's going to be critical. I may wait till I get my front end before I start gluing that in uh, because I got this hinge pillar laying, uh, fitting nice and flat. Uh, the bolt holes, as you can see, are lined up pretty good. Uh, so I'm comfortable with that, that I got everything at the height and, got, and I have this ground down to where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. The other side's the same way, so let's get going. The other thing I'm going to do here is when I put the sealant on this bonding, these two bonding strips, I'm going to go ahead and seal this windshield, lower windshield bonding strip. Just, just put some sealant on here as a safety factor. Keep the moisture out. I have bonding adhesive underneath it, which should seal it, but I'm going to seal it even better so no moisture gets underneath this strip. Uh, anytime I am going to put paint or bonding adhesive or anything that you want clean, I always use this final wipe. It uh, removes all grease and dust and mostly grease and wax if there is any, but it's just a nice final clean. Make sure you have a clean sur prep surface to put any kind of sealant or anything. So let's get to it. Do a little bit on the other side. We'll give that a chance to dry. And then we'll put a little sealant and then I'll rivet these uh, bonding strips on. I'm just going to use steel pop rivets. Uh, I, I don't know if I've discussed this in a previous video, but I think personally, being around machinery most of my career, one thing we learned was that aluminum, when it comes in contact with carbon steel, there's a chemical reaction and the aluminum starts to deteriorate. Uh, the same thing happens with stainless steel and mild steel. So what I've done is I've purchased actually carbon steel rivets. Now they will rust, but they won't corrode. But uh, I think they're gonna hold up a lot better than the aluminum or the stainless steel rivets because they're not going to corrode, create that chemical reaction. So um, I'm confident using the steel rivets on these because they're stronger than the aluminum ones. Uh, plus I don't have uh, anything to get underneath here in this small slot to uh, to hold the rivet while I while I put a head on it. So yep, I use the small headed rivets because I want minimal minimal uh, build up here. 
So let's get going. According to the assembly manual, you'll see here four, and here's that bonding strip. Number four is sealing compound. And they show it only going on this upper tip here because that's closest to the windshield where the moisture is all at. I'll probably come down a little more than that, but that's where I'm going to put it on both sides and then rivet it. Okay, I, you can see here I put some sealant on that tip like the manual shows. I had a lot of trouble with the sealant. It's really stiff. I couldn't get my caulking gun to work, but after a few persuasive hits with the hammer and I managed to get some out. So let's get this on. As you can see, all the steel rivets are in very tight. This is very secure. The sealant sealed real nice on that. Let's move to the other side. As you can see, I put the sealant on that tip also. So let's get this one rivet on. This side is finished also. The sealant's on there real good on that tab, upper tab. I like the way these countersunk there. Yeah, it looks good. Let's get some sealant on this right here. That's where we need the sealant. The hinge pillar bonding strips are installed, sealed. The lower windshield bonding strip is sealed all the way across that seam. Now that water comes off the windshield, we'll get in there. Same with the driver's side, all done. I really like the way that the hinge pillar fiberglass is fitting. Fits real snug to the Rocker, all of my mounting holes line up very nicely. See right there. This all gets filled in, of course. But yeah, nice bit. Had to do some massaging, had to do a little bit of work, but it all worked out nice. I also like the way that the passenger side hinge pillar fiberglass is fitting. You can see here, real close, some of the trim holes actually line up with this bonding strip which means I have it exactly the same spot as when it was 
build at the factory because these are factory pieces. So yeah, looks good. Holes line up nice. Coming together. I won't. I will not glue these on or put bondies on until I get the chassis, just in case I need to tweak the birdcage a little bit to get the doors to line up. So yep, we're getting there. All right, Liam, you ready? Yes, sir. You got it against the back one tight? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm at a bit of an angle, so I don't know what it's going to do. I'm going to have to bend this out of the way. Come when you're good. Yep, I'm good. Okay. So we got some on the other side. Tell me when. Yeah, I'm Give me the Phillips. Yep. It should be in the right direction already. Okay. And then just push the trigger. You already on? Are you already on? All the way? Is it out? Okay. Hole. The same hole we took it out of, yeah. You tell me when you got a good push on that. One. Kind of, yeah. You got to get the pipe, get it back there, and you got to get right on it. Tell me when you're on. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Get it push in. Okay. Let me hit it. Yeah. Okay. Now put it on there again. You tight. Okay. You up there good. Okay, good job. Up you go, bud. Don't worry, the first hill is not that bad. Yeah, I think we're good with that. You want to hold it square and put a lot of pressure on it. Yeah, it's, did you push it back in? Yeah, I think it worked. It worked. worked that time. Ready? You got it. Yeah, that one. Okay. Put a long one in this one. Got it? Yep. Yeah. You're at an angle, aren't you? You're at an angle. Here, let me straighten it out. Did it straighten out? Uh, yeah. Pound in. Come in with that. Tell me when you're ready. Man, keeps up and I think you're good. Okay. okay, I don't know if I can get up in there on these. I don't know if I can get up in there on those. Okay. Wait a minute. Those rivets, that one's coming loose. Pull that one out of there. Right there, that one. Right. Well, never mind. We'll get it. Put that one in there. Yeah, they're not, it's not. Oh, yeah. You got it good? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You pushing hard? <laughs> I'm going to use the old method. Hammer. Got it? Okay. Now. Right in right below that one, it's loose. Like this. That was loose. Yeah, this one right here. Like right around from that one. Okay, so right below it. Right yeah. Below there, can you wiggle that? Like, yeah, take it out of there. Huh? Take it out. Yeah.
Okay, I'll get it. Good morning. I'm out here today, and what I'm doing today is, as I indicated a little earlier, is I'm going to make these support braces. Um, they go like this, basically. Actually, I think this one goes here. But anyway, they don't reproduce these, to my knowledge. I couldn't find anywhere, so I've started cutting this one out. I bent it in the brake. I'm going to clean this up to dimensionally to match this, and then I'm going to use my stretcher here I just purchased to create that curve in it. So let's get to uh, sizing this properly, and then we'll bend it. I think I have that pretty much the same size. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and form this to match this curve. So let's let's do that. So I have the holes drilled, I'm gonna rivet these in, and then uh, that one will be done, I'll just make the other one. Duplicate that, so. As you can see, I've cut out and formed the lip on the new piece. Now I'm gonna stretch it to, uh, yeah, to get that curve in there. See, you need more bending, quite a bit more up at this end. It's getting close, getting very close. Just need a little bit more at the end, probably from here down.
I'm gonna shrink that a little bit. I got it too too much. Straighten it out just a little more. That's very, very close. Got to do the thing, same thing and bend this lip out a little bit. Got to bend this out a little bit to conform, as you can see here. The curve's right, but you can see this lip out. And what I did with the other one is just bend that lip down the match. Point. Very nice. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll clamp that on there, drill it, rivet it on. Let's do it. There you go. Made that piece, fits in there nice and tight. Really happy with that. I could pound this, I could bend this over a little bit, but it's not gonna hit anything in there. So you can see a little bit of a gap. I may just tap that over, just the heck of it. But I'm really happy with these pieces I made. This shrinker stretcher really works nice. I'm really, really happy with that. Yep.